I suggest turning down the brightness on the device you'll be using to watch this top 10 list because content in this video has very very bright colors that can hurt your eyes. Also, I do not own any copyrighted materials in this video. Thank you and enjoy the video. My top 10 Vocaloid songs. Number 10, Ivan Polka. So right now, as I'm recording this specific voice line for this video that I'm working on, I just want to state again, as I've already said before, I do not own any of the copyright materials within the game that's showing this content, nor do I own any of the Share Factory content. I'm just using it all to create a simple video within fair use. That's all I wanted to say about that. But, um, yeah. This, um, track, Ivan Polka, with Hasane Miku, I thought it was a pretty interesting track, and plus I like the beat of the music, and it's a classic hit, and plus it's the tutorial song, and it's got that catchy vibe to it. Plus you gotta have your greens, man. You gotta have them greens. And, yeah. It was a pretty fun song to play through when I played it, and it was a really catchy one, too. Number 9. So I chose Weekend or Girl. 1. Because of the bright colors. 2. The different shapes going on in the background. And 3. The way Miku sings and dances as she's doing the routine for the song. Or the performance, mainly. But, um, I like how right there just now where she made that heart and then turned into a, a, an 8-bit heart or whatever, sort of. And, like, um, just pushed it towards the screen as if she was giving you a kiss or something. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, I also liked the way she tossed around different shapes off the screen. The way she was dancing. The movement felt like, it, like she was really into the song. And... It makes the the viewer like um, interested because of the way she dances, the way she performs, the way she sings, and the different shapes going on in the background. Not just being still, but actually transforming into other shapes, such as a triangle transforming into a circle, or maybe the opposite, just now as you saw in the background there. And you also get to see other different shapes in many different colors, such as those two, like, um, circular like um saw blade shapes going in in the background spinning around or rotating and then you get to see hectagons octagons pentagons all, all that stuff and then she's making different shapes with her hands and all around it's just a really nice song and a nice music video for the game that's why it's at number nine but that's why it's not the best because there's many others at number 8, we have Break It, Break It. One of my favorites within the game now that I've played it a little bit and gotten used to the game and gotten used to some of the songs after listening to them multiple times. Um, this one I like because of the way that Mako had her voice tone. The, like, her tone of voice in this song was very well done and thought the lyrics were really interesting to hear and the um I I'm not really sure what else to say about this one, but um I do like most of the shots in it. Actually I shouldn't say most, I should say all of them. But um I just like the different shots that they went with for it because it fits the atmosphere. Um if it's like the the things that the character is doing. You get to see her in this like a flamey like a boiler room or whatever with fire going around and she's singing and it just it fits with the color of her outfit. Like that like um scarlet fire kind of color or whatever. It just fits fits the atmosphere, fits her character, it matches her hair, her outfit, and the way the atmosphere transforms and the different shots that come around each time during the performance of the music video. 
And I also like these rooftop scenes that we get in the video as well. But yeah, um, that one's pretty much it for this one. But I also like this shot here with the eyeballs coming in on the screen and everything. And yeah, it was just a great song. I loved it a lot. Number seven. So, here we have Stay With Me. And this one is also performed by Mako. And this one has that Christmassy vibe where you got Christmas decorations on the housing, all the different plants, the trees, the flowers, everything, even the railings and the snowmen. And Mako herself has a Christmas themed outfit for this song and the performance. And I also like the song logo a lot. It's really nice and just gives you that vibe of Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite holiday. So that's the main reason why I chose this song, because it just represents Christmas very well. And the um, I love the different shots that I have where Mako's just walking around in the night sky in the city, all lit up with the Christmas lights, the trees glowing in the moonlight. You get all these beautiful different scenes. I really do like the um, this one scene that we'll get to later on where she's sitting on the bench not on this one, but on the different one, she's next to the snowman. But um, I also like this scene right here where she's like um, looking at her her letter in the envelope. And she's just singing along to the music. And you get an interesting element where you'll see her actually sing in the, in the shots. Like with her mouth actually moving to the lyrics. And then you'll just hear her singing in the background as well. But when you're actually watching her move around, sh her mouth won't be moving to the lyrics. But only the background music will be playing. But yeah, I really dig this song a lot. It's one of my most favorites. And on to number six, we have... What was this called again? Oh yeah, Continuing Dream. This one, I really liked, and um, before I get to that, the, um, the snowman shot that I was talking about where Mako was sitting on the bench, I, I cut that part out accidentally, I just now realized that, but um, yeah. So this song, Continuing Dream, the video for it was really well done. I love the different um, shots that they took of the, the statues, the flowers. Just to do the general environment. I thought it was pretty interesting and a pretty interesting scene. Although I do wish maybe they would have had a select outfit for this song for each of the performers. Not just Miku, but Ren, Len, and Luca. Because those four characters are the main performers in this song. And their, their recommended outfit for this video was their usual outfits which I thought was a little disappointing because I thought they could have come up with something really cool to recommend in terms of outfits for this video. But other than that, the song was pretty wonderful. I liked it a lot. You had the different characters trying to grab this orb of light and share it and just like um share their dreams and memories and all that. That's basically what I got from it. I just can't understand Japanese. I have to actually look it up on YouTube so I can understand it. But once I learn Japanese, maybe I'll be able to understand it. But um, I really did like this song a lot. It's just I wish they actually did have some good recommended outfits for this song instead of their basic outfits. Number five. Now I know this shot looks odd a little because Miku has a butterfly wings on her back and they're kind of clipping through her hair. I know that looked odd. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this shot, um, I think she does have a recommended outfit. Yeah, she does. And that the song, which is this one, it's Though My Song Has No Four. First off, that's the beautiful song title. Everyone has to have it. <laughs> Like honestly, that's a beautiful song title for this song. Just the way Miku is singing when like, um, she has her song book and she's walking through the theater, the musical theater that is. And you can see 
all the chairs are the same color, they're set like an actual musical theater, and you just see the the piano on the stage with the small stool chair to sit on, and you see Miku walking through as if she was just part of the audience looking back on her memories in this scene, and I cut some parts out, but um, she's just look going through her memories, rereading the song, and honestly, I really did like the song a lot. It just gave me that like um, feels vibe where you just like love to look back on nostalgic memories. That's why I think it comes out what it comes down to for the song is that just being able to view wonderful memories or bad ones, but. You can turn bad memories into good memories. That's what I like about this song a lot. Number four, we have Wintry Winds. And this song has two performers, Mako and Kaito. And this one, I like the atmosphere of it because one, it has the those beautiful like autumn trees with the very very interesting shaped leaves and they're like red and orange and it really fits the building's color as well as the color of the character's outfits a little bit because <laughs> um well at this time I didn't have enough points to unlock the um the recommended outfit for Mako so I just went with what I thought would have been closest since I only had like two outfits for her at the time but Kaito I was able to unlock his but um I like this song a lot because it's like got that slow kind of vibe, but it's also like a classic like Chinese Japanese kind of song. But um, I really did like the color, the way the atmosphere looked, the environment, or the atmosphere. Like I, li I like what the atmosphere felt like. I also like the look of the environment. You got the the slow water moving around, and then you got the, the small bridge that they're on. And then you got them dancing together, and in general, it's just a nice music video to play through in the game. And I really do love that shot of the building that they're in once they leave it across the bridge. Honestly, this song was amazing. But there's three other amazing songs that beat this one a lot. I'm sorry, but at number three, what was it called again? Damn, this is the only song that I will remember the name for now. Hold up, I think I can look it on my phone, but um... Yeah, this song, I did like because um... It has that kind of like um... Prince falls in love with this random girl on the streets, or like um... Prince falls in love with this random girl who like um... Like, it kind of gives you that Cinderella vibe or something, but not too much. It's like kind of like that, but like um... Or the two main characters meet each other, and then they fall in love. That's what this kind of scene made me think of, where Kaito was was dancing with Miku, like a gentleman, and then she would be like the princess, and he would be the prince. It was kind of like that, and I thought it was really nice. Um, God damn it! What's the song called? Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, da, 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 what's the song called? Cantarella. Cantarella. Santarella. That, that's his name, so I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah. I really did like the tone of the song. That's the main thing that grabbed me toward it. Toward it. And I really did like the way the song was presented and sung and the way it was performed by the two dancers. At number two, we have One Sixth Out of Gravity. This song is was going to be number one, but there's another song that beats it by just a sheer one point. Because well, the song has everything, but I feel like, um, I don't know, just 
something about it that doesn't quite beat the number one spot, which we'll get to, but um, one-sixth out of the gravity is a very beautiful eye-catching eye song because you get to see Miku's expression on her faces, the different emotions, she's all happy, wanting to continue her dreams, stuff like that. And I like how once the background walls open up, you can see the city, and then she's just singing, and then you, I like the way she dances, he, I like the outfit, it was pretty cool. I also like the way her hair was done, where she has like the, the different strands of her hair going down around the twists of um, each of the ponytail, each of the ponytails or whatever, going down at the point of her hair on each end of the ponytails and I thought that was a really cool hair design and I, I just liked it a lot and I also liked the atmosphere mainly the city in the background I thought was really nice how they just opened it up that way and now she's just moving up on the elevator but I will have to say that number one is where everything ends and this song Akatsuki Arrival this song was just amazing I mean I can't tell you how much I love this kind of music because I'm um, the music for this song was mainly the kind was mainly what drew me what drew me in or what pulled me what pulled me in excuse me but um yeah, this song has, um, this atmosphere where, like, um, Luka and Miku are, like, um, dancing together, but, um, I don't really know what the translations are supposed to be and what they're, like, I'm supposed to express about the characters doing in the performances, music videos, whatever, but, um, for my best interpretation, just by looking at it again, it's like, um, they're, like, sisters or something, or, like, best friends. And then they find this like fence and they try to stay away from something, I don't really know, but like um, they have a good time together and like um, they're wondering what's on the other side of the fence, like what could be out there. And like um, I just like the way the lyrics were sung and the way the video was presented for the song. But um, all in all, I think this is a really great song, and I'm not sure what the um, defense was about, but um, there was this very nice scene where like um, they were separated by the fence at this one point, which I'm not sure if it's in this clip, but um, I might have got that part out. No, I, I put it in. It was right here when she was like fading away, and then the fence closed on them, and then Luca couldn't get back to Miku because the gate was locked but yeah so this part is um a little bit of the aftermath of the video but uh, with just some gameplay of the game and uh, this was my first time, I think, playing um, Firework Flower, and I didn't put this on the list yet because I hadn't gotten to the song once I started the list. I got to it after, and by this time of this recording, I've already beaten the song like a couple times, mainly on easy mode because I'm a lot too good, too good on the higher difficulties, but um, damn, was it tough. <laughs> Not in easy mode, on easy mode, it's pretty, diff pretty easy. Uh, normal and higher it can be a little difficult to be but in general I do want to say that I also like this song it's just not gonna count as part of this list it's more gonna be an honorable mention since I wasn't able to get in there yet because I hadn't played this song yet but um yeah I really like this song one because of the um just the way he sings it was very, very well done. And I really like the um, 
the different shots of the beach scenes, and then um, the way he was singing on stage and performing, and you just see um, Rain um, just being happy and all, and proud of him, and you could tell in the tone of his voice that he cared about her a lot, and he wanted to show that through song and dance, and he did it very well. I feel like Len made me more interested in him because of this song, not just through the song, but because of the video and the way he performed in each shot of his dance moves and everything. And I just really did like the song in general, just the, the climax parts of it were really interesting. And I also like those firework scenes where like um Rain is smiling and having a good time with Len. And just a really wonderful part. And in general, I really did like making this list. It's just that some songs I wasn't able to get in, but some songs that I first tried out, I was able to put it. But, um, the, um, in this part where, um, it's continuing through in the song, there's a specific part where you'll see Rain start to cry a little bit because she's happy that Len is singing about her and making her happy. And not to just look down on everything, but to keep moving forward and everything. Just like right here, and she just wipes the tear off her face and... Oh man, such a beautiful shot. But um, all the other songs are great too. But um, yeah. This has been Wolf Dog 107. Peace out, Wolf Dog out. Can I get a hashtag cuphead for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? Cause honestly man, he, he's gotta be a good fit for Smash. There's no way they can't put him in now. Especially when he's on a Nintendo platform.